Things have gone too far. The people over at Corsair, who I thought were my friends or at least pleasant acquaintances on the business front, they have swung too low. They have said that my studio sucks and that it needs more. I, I think they might be right. I'm going for the video rental store slash arcade aesthetic, and I don't think it's quite living up to that yet. So I challenge them to put their products where their mouth were and to fix it. Like, what are you gonna do about it? Like, come at me, bro. And I didn't expect what happened next. An arcade crossed with a video rental store. It seemed like an easy enough aesthetic to match, and in a smaller room I streamed from back at our old apartment, it was a tad easier to manage. In this space, a lot more is needed. Not just stuff, I've, I've got that covered, but lights. As much as LED lights and RGB are memed on these days, they really help contribute towards the look. I mean, I'd love more real neon, but the cost difference isn't always worth it. I've generally always had the quantity of lights, though this space has needed more, but I haven't had a way to control them. Every aesthetic, vibe-filled scene involves me running in circles, scrambling to turn everything on, and I usually forget something. Corsair has a new IQ feature that I think would be perfect for this setup. Murals. The ability to take all of your IQ connected devices and apply color effects to them. No, not like they already supported per device, but across all of the devices. You can map out all of your connected lighting kit in your room and apply gradients and effects spatially across them or have them react to your music or game sounds. I know this just sounds like marketing copy, but this is a huge deal. I didn't realize how much of a big deal it was when I originally saw the announcement, but playing around with it now, ooh boy, this kind of thing would typically require thousands of dollars of DMX gear and complex wiring setups to control and none of my gear supports DMX in the first place, except like my old analog mixer. And you can just do it all right here in IQ if you have supported tech. I just want them to open the API a little bit more or to work with people like the Atom devs so that I can set it up with Atom to control through Twitch alerts and things like that as I covered in my previous video on building like supercharging your stream alerts. Naturally, since they're the ones that said my studio was crap, Corsair sent over some of their lighting stuff so I could try out this feature. Well, I thought that was all that was being sent. What really happened was over the course of a week or two, a substantial mountain of boxes filled my studio. More and more. What was inside, I had to know. Some of it was the expected stuff. Elgato LED strips I'm quite fond of, those goofy light towers, I've got some new Earthworks mics to play with, a neat collector statue from the Discord partner team. I finally got my Halo Infinite statue from my pre- wait, wait, how long has that been? <clears throat> anyway, lots of cool stuff in here. Beyond the Corsair stuff, they also sent out the new Nanoleaf Canvas Smarter Kit. I haven't even used the Nanoleaf product before, uh, not a triangle fan, <laughs> and some sick Philips Hue spotlights. Yeah, this murals feature works with more than just Corsair lights. I also received a few massive boxes that were really heavy when I carried them to the studio, but when I opened them, there was nothing in there. Just packing paper, or in one particularly cruel prank, packing peanuts. Dear gosh the evilness. I was confused why the boxes were empty, but I couldn't help but feel that something was released into my studio that day. I haven't quite figured out what. <laughs> I got to wiring. I had some immediate ideas for where I wanted lights to go. I just posted a video over on Analog Dreams about building out the art channel side of my desk wall, and while that setup is nice, it is missing a lot of that color and vibe that I'm going for throughout the rest of the studio. It's, it's too clean, it's too sterile. I, I'm not a minimalist guy, I'm a maximalist guy. My first idea was to do something off book with the light towers. They're cool enough and all, but on their own they're just towers. But what if I had them going upside down from my shelves here? It could add some nice color and look sick. Tried some command strips and they seemed to work at first, but I wanted to wait a day or so before putting the towers on the bases to make sure it'd stick, and nope, fell right off the next day. Then I committed to breaking out the internet's least favorite tool, the hot glue gun. But by some witchcraft, the hot glue would not stick to the anti-slide rubber pads on the bottoms of these things. It just fell right off. I was worried that the rubber would melt and I would mangle them, but I never expected this. Fine, Corsair, you'll, you win. I'll use them as towers for now. Instead, I wired up most of the shelves with the Elgato LED strips and called it a day. It's exactly what I wanted, at least. 
Through this, I also grabbed a few more on-brand LED signs, a few USB extenders, and a big USB power supply to add more background lights. This neat little PC is from Corsair's Vengeance Gaming line. i5, 12600K, RTX 3070, 16GB RAM, and Whisper Quiet. Seriously, the quietest high-spec PC I've ever heard in my life. It's got me rethinking how I've been building PCs all these years, because what? It's just silent. I, I don't get it. I know people aren't big on pre-builds, but I, I want someone to just build my PCs for me this quietly. Like, <laughs> it's modestly spec'd, and it has a B660 motherboard, which doesn't have the I.O. that I want for the most part. Like, if I wanted to upgrade it based on this platform, I wouldn't be able to use the motherboard. It's a 750-watt power supply, so if I wanted to throw a 4090 in there, wouldn't be a great idea. But the motherboard has VGA out, which means I'll also be able to use this to control my CRT monitors that I use for my set displays. Now there's some ideas. Despite the modest specs, it's just fine for gaming in the studio here and looks a lot better than my falling apart test bench below the desk. This will be the brains of the operation for the murals. Hell, even Corsair's desk mat has RGB now. Got a super clean gaming and testing setup going now and I've expanded my glitch art setup with some sweet Eurorack gear. It's time to finish the lights. The Nanoleaf Canvas Kit provided some much needed lighting above the gaming wall. These little panels are straightforward to install. They come as a bunch of small squares with small chips to connect them, almost like the boards for flash drives. Just arrange how you want, attach the adhesive strips, and go. I wish I had a few more panels in the kit, but for my first Nanoleaf experience, not, not bad, honestly. Gotta connect that up to Wi-Fi and add it to IQ. I do need to get more of these little text displays. They're addicting. Lastly, I ceiling mounted these Philips spotlights. They're meant for outdoor use, but nothing about them wouldn't work indoors, and I wanted some spotlights for areas of my studio. Admittedly, they're not very bright. You would think for outdoor lights, they would need to be even brighter, which is kind of why I sprung for them, and they, they, they do not get very bright. I, they're cool. That means I'm not going to get blinded by them, but I was expecting a little more, and reviews online seem to reflect that. Let's configure all these smart lights in IQ. Plus, I've got to figure out how to control the dumb lights more easily, but we'll get to that. I'm in the IQ software and we have updated to include the new murals feature, which includes a preview switcher on the main home tab, as well as its own dedicated tab where you can map things out. We'll get to that in just a moment. Don't get too excited yet. We need to pair up our Philips Hue and our Nanoleaf stuff. I've already paired them on mobile, but you go to IQ settings in the top right integrations and we need to turn on these two so we're going to go ahead and set up Philips Hue integration it's going to ask you to access your firewall I'm going to close that you can see here there's a Philips Hue bridge we're going to click setup wizard run wizard ensure it's on and connected to the network we already did that now we have to go run and push the button It's that easy. Click next. Click next. Click finish. You can turn murals on and off by clicking the murals indicator. That's fine. All right, under Philips Hue. Oh, if the tab is still empty, I haven't created an entertainment area. That may very well be possible. Let me take a look. All right, I'm in the Philips Hue app. I thought the studio garage thing was my entertainment area. I can turn the lights on or off. Uh, three dots, add new room or zone, maybe we need a zone, we'll say office, yep, that's fine, add studio garage lights, done, okay, now we have a room and a zone, <laughs> neither of them are called entertainment areas, we're gonna do nano leaf. Setup wizard, canvas. See, that one just detects automatically. I gotta hold the on off button for five to seven seconds, easy. All right, and we are ready to go with the canvas. So if we go to our mural, yeah, we can just drag that straight on here. And for the most part, that works. We can make it, ooh. I'm not entirely an idiot. 
the entertainment areas are buried for some reason. If you go to settings on this bridge, entertainment areas. I don't know why that's not with the, the, the rooms and the zones, but here we go. That's not shown in Corsair's tutorial. How will you use your entertainment area? For my monitor. Sure, that's fine. Yep, choose all of the lights in the room. Position your lights. Uh, we're on, we we on the ceiling. That's fine. I truly don't care. Height. There we go. Yes, on the ceiling. Does not matter for the three lights we have. That's fine. Done. All right. We now have an entertainment area. So we come back in here to our Philips Hue. There's our entertainment area. All right. So now we go to murals. <laughs> it shows up as a light from Philips. But if I drag it on there, those lights sure are flashing. Now we can look at the actual <laughs> UI for the murals. So the mural set setup here is actually pretty cool. You've got a video preview for whatever animation or video you want to sync to. You have your devices, and then you can drag them to fit wherever you want. And so your effects, you have individual videos. You have specific colors that you could just map everything to. A rainbow that you can map everything to is just static ideas. There's the interstellar effect. There's an abstract kind of lava lampy effect, which I kind of dig. Another abstract kind of liquid effect. These just kind of show off what you could do. The video capture one is pretty cool because if you double, well, if you go to colors and settings here, they have some built in uh, video effects that you can also choose more customized stuff from here. So you can actually just click the plus and then you can choose between videos images, static colors, audio reactivity, wave color spectrum, ambient lighting based on your monitor, which is all the rage these days you might want, or a gradient. So with video capture, there's a lot of built-in animations. So you've got like pink colors and you can kind of get the preview in the background there. Got a little green, red thing going on. So you got some baked in stuff, but I'm, I'm a glitch artist. I can, I make visualizations. Let's go make one. I almost forgot the secret final piece to the puzzle that I picked up almost exactly a year ago today and still haven't used. The Philips Hue Smart Plugs. I have four of these. These have been very difficult to find in stock. I'm even looking at it right now. And if you order it on Amazon, you gotta wait like most of the month to get them. They are super expensive. Philips offers two different versions of these. One only works through Bluetooth with the app. The other, which is the one that's hard to get, also works with Zigbee, which works with the Philips Hue Hub, which you can then use with the Elgato Stream Deck. Meaning, I have four outlets, or power strips, you know, with whatever's plugged into them, that I can control through my Stream Deck. So for signs like my neon signs and other things that I have to climb around shelves to get to in order to turn on or off typically, when I want to stream, I can flick them all on this way. Theoretically, I could even turn on my whole CRT wall with this, but I don't really want to put the CRTs through that, whereas lights and things like that are kind of built for it. So, I'm gonna install these. While you're watching the beauty that is me setting all of this up to upgrade my studio and my stream setup, you should be upgrading your stream setup with some high quality music in the rock and metal genre if that's your thing. We have that for free over at backingtrack.gg. This is built by my community with my community manager and I. We, we, we wanted to change the game away from just being lo-fi stuff to being some, some good music that you would actually listen to on the regular. We've got rock, we've got metal, we've got synth rock, we've got 
Chip Rock coming soon. The new Slayer Wars album is dropping any minute now. It is some good stuff and you can stream it for free. You can play it for free. You can go download it for free. Use it in your videos. Use it in your streams. Tag us when you do if you want. No requirement though. Go check it out. Backintrack.gg. It's the music used in this video as well. Overstimulating to some, but this is what I always wanted. Every time I walk in here, I feel a little at peace. I feel at home. You might think there's too much to look at, but I feel like I could just sit in the center and meditate. Aside from my new collection of cardboard that I can only slowly filter out with our bi-weekly recycling pickups, I'm getting very close. This is turning into the creative space of my dreams. 2023 will be the year of renewed creativity and doing more stuff I care about rather than what I feel obligated to do. It will be the year of vibes and of art. I hope you'll join me for the ride. I hope you'll click this video to see how I just optimized my stream alerts to take over my whole studio. And I hope you'll remember to be kind. Rewind. Alright, I, I see you the picture. I, I, I think for once we got a desk we can stick with. I, th I think I'm happy with it. Yeah, I mean, it looks okay. But I think we should go bigger. <laughs>